Hello, so I'm standing uh, in the place where I'm going to be doing a series of mark making works on a monthly basis throughout 2021. And the idea is that I capture this landscape in marks through the seasons. And what I'm going to do is a very large A2 uh, piece um, using a mixture of um, different media and I might well vary it and change it. Um, in addition to that mark making, I'm going to do some writing of my feelings and thoughts and words that come to mind when I'm doing it each month. And then I'm going to fold it into a book. And the idea is that that might produce some really interesting results and almost the basis for paintings. Well, we don't know, I don't know that. Um, it might not amount to anything. But by folding it, I'm going to get some fairly sort of abstract and very different pieces to what I did when I was actually out here on location doing it. So we'll see what happens. And I'm just gonna share with you, I'm just gonna rotate the camera. This is a nice wintry scene, is it not? Um, here in Mosley and it's very fortunate because if I just whiz it around you can see there's some benches so I can sit and do this on a monthly basis and we'll see what happens.
My goodness, it was cold and blustery out there. I'm kind of glad to be back in the warm. So what I wanted to do now is to share with you what I'm going to do with those uh, A2 sheets of mark making that I'm doing out on that particular landscape. So this drawer, you might wonder what this is all about, but this drawer is where I'm going to put all of these booklets. And I'm essentially going to fold uh, the sheets and create booklets. And I'm just going to take you through uh, what I'm going to create. So if I can just start with this. Um, at the end of last year, I knew I wanted to create a series of uh, works and mark making uh, pieces that uh, recorded um, the uh, particular view and scene uh, in marks and drawing um, on a regular basis, a monthly basis throughout 2021. And I was wondering how I was going to do that. And I didn't just want to have lots of sheets of different times of saying this is this and this is that. I wanted to do something with it and maybe make it a little bit more user usable for me as well as make it more interesting to look at. So fortunately, I then came across Michelle Walker, who was um, doing creating folded books on Instagram. And I think she was doing them on her YouTube channel as well. And um, I then started um, thinking about how I would fold the papers and I started to look at different sizes. I started to look at a2 and A3 and A4 and I found that A4 and A3 were a little bit too small but A2 which this one is the prototype for uh, worked really well so uh, what I did was I didn't do this out on location I did it from drawings I had of being out on the moor and I just set about creating an A2 sheet and then folding it and this is the result and really, I'm just sort of showing you this for the structure, really. So you can stick the pages together and then you make this quite interesting uh, folded booklet. And what's quite nice is that you can obviously open it out and it's a, quite a reasonable size. Um, and <coughs> what I've then subsequently done is thought about how I would do the front and the back. So what I've done here is I've stuck card on the front and on the back. And so at the moment on the front, I've got an image that reflects uh, what's going on inside the book uh, booklet. And on the back, I've just put the marking seasons information. Marking seasons is the name of this project. That's what I'm calling it. Um, and uh, the details and, and date and so on. So that's what I'm out to create. <coughs> and I think it's quite a, a nice sort of structure, actually. So what I want to do now is firstly to tell you that it's not just going to be about this, this uh, mark making book. <coughs> I'm also going to keep a record monthly of my thoughts whilst I'm out there so I've done January's and feelings and descriptions of what it was like and also I'm going to have words for the month the words that come to mind that I'm thinking about when I'm out looking at those landscapes and <coughs> excuse me a bit of a frog in my throat what I might do is to incorporate these into the booklets or I might just keep them separate, keep them as calligraphy. But I'm very keen on using collage and calligraphy in my work. So it may be incorporated into the booklets or may be just used as reference for paintings. So, so what I want to do now is to show you January. You saw me doing January outside and what does it look like once it's folded up? So I haven't yet fully decided on the front and back cover, but I have cut the card for it. So I've got card ready to stick on the back and, and, and front to make it more sturdy. And what I haven't done yet either is to stick it together. So you can see how it's actually quite, um, it quite, you know, it opens out unless you, you stick it together. So I will be sticking it together to make it more robust and make it uh, sturdy so that it can be looked through as a booklet. So I thought I would end just by sharing with you uh, January 2021 uh, from that blustery scene that you saw me uh, battling with what the results is. And of course, when you fold it, you can do it one way up or the other. And for now, I've decided on it this way up. So this is uh, a variety of marks that you get. You see how different it is when it's folded up and how you just get snippets of the views and certain things are in it and certain things I quite like this sort of like hanging on the edge there and spidery lines and different variety that you get even within one page and you certainly get the feeling of the blusteriness and then this I remember looking at this richness of the landscape where you've got really dark areas of trees and so on and this was uh this is what this page was all about. And then um, 
quite a variety of, of uh, shapes and lines I think you can see and then this one um, you really do get the sense of the blusteriness of, of, of it uh, and and the feeling of the wind which is quite nice and then this one um, interestingly I did go back the next day because I had to rush away so that I didn't tear the papers up and so uh, because it was so windy I was literally holding on to it for dear life as you as you probably could tell so I went back in the next morning and it was a lot calmer and this blueness in the sky was there and so I kind of think that kind of works really well actually with those uh, very sort of blustery lines and uh, colours and then that is the last page. I remember looking through a lot of um, branches and vegetation uh, without leaves. And that's where that, I think, comes from. So anyway, um, hopefully that's given you a good insight into what I will be doing um, with these uh, mark makings uh, each month. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please do like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.